Fans are speculating that 39-year-old reality star Drea Michelle is pregnant by 21-year-old NBA player Jalen Green after a video surfaced online. Now she's catching heat online because he's the same age as her son. All right, whether she's pregnant or not, do y'all think this relationship is appropriate? Al, go ahead. Jeez, now this right here is some shit. This is some starting out your 2024 in a whole new way. Um, it's like she's pregnant by someone her own, her oldest son's age. That's what makes the number thing a thing for me, because she has a son who's the exact same age as this professional athlete who she's pregnant by. Now, let's put that aside for a moment, because... You know, if it was if it wasn't for that, maybe I could mentally get over it. But Drea, Drea has been in the entertainment game for like 14 years and she's not a newcomer. And and because she's been in the game so long to me, why is she still going after athletes? You know what I mean? Like, why is she still going after athletes? To me, Drea is a woman of a certain age. She's 40 or close to 40. I think she should be updating like the owner of the team or maybe the coach of the team or the owner of a record label, not a rapper. That's how I kind of view Drea now, especially as I've been journeying, journaling and going on the journey with her uh, about who she's been dating. We She's done athlete, athlete things. She has another child by a different athlete. So I just want more for her. I don't know. That's just kind of how I feel. And, can I ask a question though? And I know this is off subject, but Claudia, why haven't you ever done anything like this? I'm sure you've had plenty of opportunities with all the guys that try to holler at you, especially athletes. Why Why did you never choose like that athlete route? I did athletes and I just kept it on the low because I didn't expect much out of it. Like I felt like, you know, a lot of times they're uh, slower to mature because they have everything thrown at them and uh, really spoils, you, you know, it's, they're in the top 1%, I guess you say, is desired men. So um, I took them as, as seriously as I could at the time, but I was a, always been a realist. I've been a realist about uh, dating. So, uh, mm-hmm. you know, it just, I could have definitely trapped the ball player. I tried to have a baby by one and just, you know, this would have just been my play money. And that would have been in living out child's moment. That just never was appealing to me. It was never appealing to me. And let me tell you, when I was younger, I liked younger men. When I got older, I did not like younger men anymore. Not like that. Um, a couple years is one thing, but a 21 year old to me, I, I, I just cannot bear to think of the idiotic conversations that most likely are taking place. Like, what are we going to talk about? What are we going to talk about? You know what I mean? No hate on her mm-hmm. because men do it all the time. You see six year old men with 20 year old mm-hmm. women and older and no one bats an eye. Well, some people bat an eye, but I ain't going to say that. But uh, people in the comments are saying, um, uh, she's AJ nothing but a number. Uh, why would she want to carry his baby? Get to the bag. It's weird, but she's grown. I, personally, uh, under 35, under 40, I'm like, what are we going to talk about? Um, but eh, they grown, I guess. I, not for me, though. Maddie, what would you, what do you think about this? Al, hey, why you didn't ask me about the athletes I dated? <laughs> <laughs> My bad, Maddie. I feel so, you know, attacked. <laughs> okay, okay, so here's the thing. Hold on, hold up. Tell us. Yeah, give us, that's give the us some clues. I've always dated athletes. Give us really? some clues about the biggest one you dated. Clue, like just a clue. It went out with the palettes a little bit. Well, you know, in my line of of who I am, I never kiss and tell. I just let it be. I let people think whatever they want, you know, because I'm a plus size girl. So you know, people think because you're a plus size girl that you know you don't have you don't have that type of pull. But I'm pretty, and yes, so. You know, I've dated after, <laughs> and they were younger than me. But like, Maddie, I'm, I wonder if we've ever dated the same person. Who knows? Ooh. We may have. Who knows? I would never tell anybody because you know that's not my that's not my thing. Like if he didn't, if if we both weren't like out on the front street with it, then you know I'm I'm not gonna say anything. You know, I, I was I was compensated well, and then it turned into like a really great relationship. You know, well one of them did. The other ones were, you know, it was just a little fling, but they were all younger than me, but they were professional athletes and they are younger than me, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I didn't look at it from the perspective of, okay, this is going to come, this is going to be my man, uh, you know, this was a fun time for me, but, but they were interested. Well, one of them was extremely interested in like really date and we're still, you know, friends to this day. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing. Now, Al, you said why isn't she dating the 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 uh the owner? 
And why yeah, is yeah. she dating the owner of the record label? Well, is the owner of the record label trying to talk to her? Is the owner of the team trying to talk to her? Like, mm-hmm. as 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 an older, sexy woman, those young gentlemen are are coming after her, and they're trying mm-hmm. to talk to her. Should she have had a good time with him and moved on? I think. Should she have, you know, have his baby? I don't think, you know, but a good time, maybe. He's rich. He's he's richer than her son. What are you talking about? <laughs> don't ask the whole what a woman should do, honey, because the whole one <laughs> I see. <laughs> and, and Al, you said something quite interesting. You said, well, you know, why should you keep going for the athletes or talk to but you know, the athletes be bigger groupies than the groupies, the women that you think are groupies. Like you would be mm-hmm. surprised, like how and you fall with a bunch of reality star women and, and women that are in the spotlight like that. You you know that these men be like they be sending their publicists, sending their friends, sending their boys. You don't even have to be a groupie, especially if you got a little bit going on and a couple of dollars in your pocket. They will come for you. They will come mm. for you. I mean, 